Hi there, my name is Ron Pereira and I'd like to welcome you to this first video of Gemma Academy's course focused on introducing the concepts of total productive maintenance, which we'll simply refer to as TPM from here on. Well, by the end of this module, you'll learn what TPM is, including an overview of what the major activities or pillars of TPM are what the so-called six big losses are, and how TPM helps many organizations improve output by double digits. Lastly, by the end of this module, you'll understand why TPM is not optional for lean thinking organizations who rely on machines and equipment to satisfy customer demand. Now, before we start, I'm excited to announce that this TPM course was actually delivered in a live setting by Mike Robleski, a senior consultant from Gemba Consulting and the Kaizen Institute. Now, Mike's been practicing lean for many years and learned directly from lean experts such as Mr. Shigel Shingo, one of the chief architects of the SMED or quick changeover concept. Okay, so let's get things started. Well, total Productive Maintenance, or TPM, is a method to achieve maximum equipment effectiveness through total employee involvement. Done correctly, TPM involves all associates, including, but not limited to, management, operators, engineers, and maintenance staff. Now, Mike will offer deeper insights into following modules into what TPM is, but a key principle that I want to stress is that TPM is not just a maintenance responsibility or a maintenance program. Instead, TPM requires close and deliberate teamwork among all associates. Now, there are many reasons why TPM is so important to any organization serious about authentic continuous improvement. Well, first, at its core, TPM is all about increasing the efficiency of your operation by ensuring your equipment is safe, available, and working correctly when you need it. As such, lead times are predictable and you're able to deliver exactly what you promise your customer. Next, TPM is all about collaboration and teamwork across all levels of the organization. As such, it'll strengthen morale and cooperation as associates learn to work in harmony with one another instead of pointing fingers and blaming each other when things go wrong. Finally, TPM will save your organization a tremendous amount of money as unplanned reactive maintenance declines and planned proactive maintenance increases. Now, Mike will share specific examples later in the course, but research shows that the total cost of unplanned breakdowns can be devastatingly high when compared to the short time equipment is taken offline for scheduled maintenance. Okay, well the last TPM topic I'd like to introduce in this overview module is what we call the six big losses. Now Mike's going to introduce a powerful metric called overall equipment effectiveness or OEE, which allows us to quantify the six major types of equipment losses. Now the first type of loss is breakdowns. Now these are times when equipment breaks down and isn't available when we need it to be. Second, setup and adjustment losses occur when we're working to prepare equipment to run a different type of product. Now as an aside, we cover how to attack this problem in the Gemma Academy Quick Changeover the SMED system course. Now when combined, breakdowns and setup or adjustment losses make up what we call availability losses. Now the next two types of losses are minor stoppages and reduced speed. Now these losses occur when our equipment stops from time to time or when we have to slow equipment down in order to produce good parts. Together, these two types of losses make up what we call performance losses. Finally, the last two types of losses are related to quality. First, rework and defect losses occur when our machines produce bad parts. Now these are especially devastating since the time the machine spent producing the bad parts is wasted and chances are good that the machine will have to spend additional time reworking the part or producing a new part altogether. Finally, startup yield losses occur when parts are being tweaked and perfected as production gets started. Now, as it turns out, many organizations who lack capacity soon discover that they have far more capacity than they actually need once they're able to reduce these six big losses. As a result, they can win more business at a lower cost. Now, throughout the rest of this course, Mike Robleski will discuss how to attack these six big losses through the deployment of a focused and disciplined TPM program. Additionally, Mike will also introduce what we refer to as the eight pillars of TPM, which include items such as autonomous maintenance and early equipment programs. 
Taken together, these eight pillars are at the heart of a successful TPM program. Okay, well, this wraps up this first overview module. As promised, in the coming modules, Mike will take you on a far more extensive journey into the awesome potential of TPM. Until then, my name is Ron Pereira, and I'd like to thank you for your interest in Gimba Academy while wishing you all the best as you progress on this never-ending journey of continuous improvement.